Well, hello there. This is Skip McCoy for Riversoft University, and this is the configuration of Riversoft Office Part 4. Phrases, Skills and Subskills, Services and Supplies. You can reach all of those from the configuration button right here, and the first thing I'm going to talk about is phrases. Phrases is basically a list of lists that allows you to have access to configure pull-downs from your uh, right-click window. And uh, one of the places you'll do that most often is in medical records. On a note, there are all kinds of places to right-click freeform fields. Uh, any place there's a comment, really, like um, clinical summary. All these open text fields, if you right-click, you'll be able to voice to text, text in. Or if you choose from one of the groups of phrases, you can choose something in that phrase. These phrases come from this phrase editor. So if you wanted to add a new allergy into allergy, you would just uh, click new, click allergies, put in your new allergy, and save. So that's how you control what shows up in your phrases. It's also used to override the text in locator 26. By default, that text is one of these four flavors. And then if you'll put in a, a phrase group of one of these four, you can put in your own text. So you can have whatever you want to show in locator 26 of the 45. Okay, so that's the master phrase list. The next is skills and subskills. And that's right here and here. Skills is the master list of disciplines that your agency is going to provide your clients. Um, you may not ever have to add a skill to the skills that are are sent for with Riversoft Office, but if you need to, simply give us a call and we'll put some more skills in for you. Now if you want to, to segment skills, you would use subskills. And the reason you use skills is skills you can put bill rates in, pay rates in, bill codes in, compliance rules in, but if you wanted to, uh, to differentiate the pay and bill for a specific type of skill with a subskill, you would use subskills and you can see as I choose these uh, subskills, it tells me what skills they're related to. So when you're putting in a subskill, you'll choose the subskill or add the subskill, then choose the associations it's going to have, and then each one of these associations with a skill will be stored. So you could have uh, high tech, that's a flavor of RN. High tech PD is a flavor of RN. So again, it's just a way of creating subgroups of your skills. Okay, next is services and supplies. On a schedule, you can add a supply item or a service item. A supply item is normally like a uh, band-aid or syringe or needle, diapers, anything you're going to use on a visit. Where a, go back to the schedule, where a uh, service item is something an, um, your, your agency is going to do for a client that is not really employee related. Services such as uh, ambulance services, flu shots, an in-touch installation or monitoring, um, evaluation visit for insurance, something that really no employee is specifically going to be involved for. So it's a non-employee service that you're renting to a client. So if you're going to put a service item or a supply item on a client schedule, you would configure those here. Here's your master list of services. And each service has a basic cost and a basic bill rate that can be overridden. And they also have, besides the description, HICPIC code, modifier, and revenue codes. That's services. If I go over to supplies, this is your master list of supplies. And you can put in your the standard supplies database you normally have. 
And the supply editor, supply item editor on the schedule is, is made so that you can put in a lot of supplies for a client very quickly. Okay, that was pretty simple. That, that was an overview of phrases, skills and subskills, and services and supplies. Skills are very important, so if you need to add one, please call Riversoft. We'll be glad to add it for you. Uh, sometimes the skill is not really what you're after. You're, you could be better served by an affiliation or an attribute or a subskill or something else. That's why we want you to call Riversoft when you add a skill. Well, this is Skip McCoy for Riversoft University signing off.